Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6 Practice Problems Review covers Unit 4, Lesson 1, Size of Divisor and Size of Quotient. In Problem 1, order from smallest to largest. Notice all of these are one foot high, whether it's number of pennies, number of books, number of dollar bills, or number of slices of bread. And so when you're trying to order from smallest to largest, as in, well, the number of books that's going to take to take one foot, that'll be the least amount because a book is the thickest item. Next comes the bread, then the pennies, then the dollar bills, because the books were the thickest, the dollar bills were the least thick, and so just going books, then bread, then pennies, then dollar bills will get you your answer. In question two, we're using 440 and 4,000 once to make true statements. Well, what's going to be close to one? Well, if your um, second number here is 40 and 1 hundredth, well, what can you divide that's going to get you an answer close to 1? Well, 40. 40 divided into about 40 is going to be close to 1. Now, if you're getting smaller than 1, you need a small number here, a smaller number than 40. 4 divided by 40 and 1 hundredth is going to be much less than 1. And then if you have a really big number and divide it by a small number, you're going to have something that's much greater than 1. And then again, without computing, we're going to do something very similar to what we did in problem two here, decide whether the value of each expression is much smaller than one, close to one, or much greater than one. And if you take a big number and divide it by a small number, you can get something that's much greater than one. 100 divided by 1,000th is actually 100,000, so it's much greater than one. If you have two numbers that are close together, like 50 and 1 third divided by 50 and 1 fourth, you're going to get something close to one. Same with 4 and 7 tenths divided by 5 and 2 tenths. That's going to be close to 1. If you have a small number divided by a bigger number, you're going to be a lot smaller than 1. Compared to a big number divided by a small number, is going to be much greater than 1. And then you have a small number, 2 tenths, hundreds, thousand. So 2 thousandths divided by 2 thousand is going to remain much smaller than 1. I mean, you have a number that's already smaller than 1, you're dividing it into 2,000 pieces, so it's going to be much smaller than one. A rocking horse has a weight limit of 60 pounds. What percentage of the weight limit is 33 pounds? We're getting into some review questions now. So basically, we're saying 33 is what percent of 60? Well, if I just take 33 and divide it by 60, I get the decimal 55 hundredths. Move that decimal two times to the right, and you'll end up with 55%. Same concept here in number two, or part B. What percentage of the weight limit is 114 pounds? If you take 114 and divide by 60, you get 1.9, 1 and 9 tenths. But to get that to a percent now, you need to move the decimal over once, twice, and there is a zero here to get you 190%. 95% um, or what is 95% of the limit? Take 95% as a decimal, so move that decimal back twice to the left, you get 0.95 times 60 gets you 57 pounds. And then we're comparing using greater than, equals, or less than. 0 0.7, 0 0.70, this is 7 tenths, this is 70 hundredths, but you actually do have a zero here as I wrote down, so 70 hundredths is equal to 70 hundredths, 7 tenths is equal to 70 hundredths. If we skip down to 3, uh, 90 hundredths is what 9 tenths actually is as well is greater than 12 hundredths. It's very tempting to go 9 is smaller than 12, but this is 9 tenths. There's a 1 in the tenth spot here. So 9 tenths is always going to be bigger than 1 tenth and whatever else is over here. And so I do like to compare when they're um, lined up in the hundredth spot. Uh, makes it easier uh, to say, okay, 90 is bigger than 12. Don't just look at this and go, 9 is smaller than 12, so 9, no, no, it's got to either line them up and understand what's going on with the place value here. Speaking of place value, we have 3 hundredths, 6 tenths, uh, 3 or 30 hundredths, and 6 hundredths. Basically, what I set up here is an addition with fractions question. The 30 hundredths plus 6 hundredths on the right side gets you 36 hundredths. Here, when you have 3 one hundredths plus 6 tenths, I multiply this 6 by 10 and the 10 by 10 to get this into a fraction with 1 hundredths. And so you have 3 1 hundredths plus 60 1 hundredths is 63 hundredths. And of course, 63 hundredths is bigger than 36 hundredths. 
Could you get this as a decimal 0.6 and this is a decimal 0.06? Certainly, you could add using decimals as well in order to compare. And then Diego has 90 songs on his playlist. How many songs are there for each genre? 40% rock. Let's take our 40%, move the decimal over twice to the left. It's 0 0.4, 4 tenths or 40 hundredths again, times 90 gets you 36. And that's what we're going to do throughout. 10% country, 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 times 90 gets you 9. 30% 0 0.3 or 0 0.30 times 90 is 27. And then 0 0.20 times 90. Where did I get that? Well, the rest is electronica, whatever that is. And so 40 plus 10 plus 30 gets you 80% used. 100 minus 80, the rest of it's 20%. So 0 0.2 or 2 tenths times 90 is 18. In our last question, we go back to the table method because I think it's kind of a fun way to finish. Uh, nine quarts of water in six seconds at this rate, how long will it take the hose to emit 12 quarts and how much water does the hose emit in 10 seconds. Um, you could get a unit rate here as well. I did not write that down. That's another way of solving this type of question. Um, you could have divided the 9 by 6 to get 1 and 5 tenths quarts in 1 second. Um, that could work as well for some of these questions. But I use the table method. And to use that, um, 9 quarts, 6 seconds, I need to get to 12 quarts. Well, I can simplify dividing both these by 3, so 3 quarts in 2 seconds, and then multiply by 4, 12 quarts in 8 seconds, so 8 seconds. Also, 9 quarts, 6 seconds, same thing, 3 quarts, 2 seconds. I'm trying to get down now to 10, so I can multiply by 5. 2 times 5 is 10, 3 times 5 is 15, so 15 quarts. That's it for this review. Good luck.